What's up, Wire Testers? Duke 4005 back with a performance review. This one's going to be pretty short and sweet because it's a, just a variation on the shoe that came out back in the fall. And we're talking about the Jordan Superfly 4PO. This is the Chinese New Year colorway. Um, if you saw my uh, unboxing video on this, you know I talked about the colorway being not something I would normally go after. Number one, again, because of price, and uh, I believe this colorway is $180. And number two, because it's just a little bit out there for what I normally wear. Number three, the regular editions of the Superfly 4PO featured a regular leather heel and medial side instead of the patent leather as printed. We'll get into the materials a little bit later. However, the performance on these should be the same as what you get on a normal PO. So, no further ado, let's dig right okay, in. Okay, like I said, I'm not going to spend much time on these because it's basically the same fit, uh, same materials, same cushioning, same traction as the first model. The only difference between this and the first model really is this burrito style wrap tongue you can find right here. It wraps over from the medial into the lateral side and the materials around the ankle and the medial side are on this version they're patent leather because they're inlaid with this color for the Chinese New Year. On the regular Superfly 4 POs they are just a regular leather. Um, the forefoot made up of the same mesh as you found on the regular Superfly 4 got a little bit of a different overlay here on the toe with this fuse area for toe drags and a little bit of a whereas the uh, Superfly 4 had the um, lace loops the, 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 the flat lacing system this just has fuse around the lace loops on the lateral side and the regular flat system on the medial side just to pull that tongue up a little bit tighter into the foot um, Again, I think I would have rather had the regular leather version, but beggars can't be choosers, you know. This this is what I've got for review, so I reviewed it. Uh, it didn't affect much on the fit. I just think looks-wise I would have rather had the regular leather instead of this patent system. All right, well, we will hit on traction real quick. Um, if you saw my Instagram, if you follow me at Duke4005, you saw the uh, nasty, gross, sick, I don't know what else I could call it, 24-hour fitness floor that I played on. Three games in, this thing was caked and covered in dust balls and hair. I was still getting good traction out of it. So traction on an indoor court is fantastic. Uh, the rubber is very soft. It's got a herring bone pattern everywhere. However, the, the tread is very, very shallow and um, I, it's really soft. I don't see it lasting on an outdoor court. I may be wrong, but I don't play that much outdoors so I can't judge. Uh, you can still see the remnants here. Uh, this is you know 15 20 minutes of scrubbing with a wet towel trying to get that nasty crap off and you can still see the remnants in there of what I dealt with so again cushioning a1 I mean I'm sorry traction a1 could not be better on an indoor court um, a clean indoor court now since we've already got the shoe turned over we'll go ahead and just do a quick hit on cushioning as you can see it is a huge I believe they call it tri zoom unlocked zoom in the front followed by the you know covered by the flight speed plate uh, this is the largest unlock zoom unit we've seen in a Jordan shoe and it does the job it's not particularly responsive like you got in the Jordan 28 it is more along the lines of the Jordan 29 but it feels better than Jordan 30 so if you know if you're looking for between the 29 and the 30 um, this is a good option for you I will say this unit felt more responsive out of the box than the regular Superfly 4 PO I mean the regular Superfly 4 so I'm not sure if they altered some things, adjusted some things, or if it's just uh, my imagination believing that it was more responsive, but it did feel more responsive out of the box. I'll turn it here. You can see just there is a little bit of a raise from the outsole. Not much, but it is just enough where you can get a little bit of a bounce out of it. Heel cushioning, again, straight foam. Um, I really didn't notice. I don't land on my heels much, but it's just straight foam, no zoom, which we should be used to now from Jordan Brand. Right, as far as support, of course you got your flight speed here to, under the arch to help with your torsion rigidity, uh, keep that dreaded plantar fasciitis away. Um, the rest of the support just comes from the lacing system. You've got an internal heel counter, but it's not very solid. Uh, it is there. It runs right here along the jump man's uh, midsection, and it runs right around. You can see the crease in the leather right here to where the heel counter runs. This area looks like it would be really stiff. It's not. Um, it's just there is it to break up the uh, pattern I assume because that's all I can figure out um, you do have asymmetrical ankle cut not really I mean, it's, it's about a thumbs width I mean, you can see right here it's about my thumb 
difference. Not a lot, but it is there just to help with your ankle support on the medial side if you need it. Um, the biggest thing on the support though is the lacing system. The shoe just pulls up nicely around your foot snugly. The, the burrito tongue wraps around and holds the shoe tight. It doesn't loosen up while you're playing. This mesh is really, really holds tight and stiff right here in the forefoot. There's no real structure here as far as a lateral stability structure, any kind of extra band or anything. It's just the mesh that you see and there is no outrigger per se. You can see it just runs straight down. So lateral support is pretty much nil if you need it. Um, personally, I didn't feel the shoe needed it. Kept it feeling nimble without it and kept it feeling quick, you know, quicker than a shoe built for Blake Griffin. Now we go on to fit. That's the biggest difference between this um, Superfly 4 PO and the regular Superfly 4. Uh, the fit with this burrito tongue, again, is just a little snugger than what the original Superfly 4 was. Nothing that you need to size up for. Stay true to size. The length runs perfect. Um, the width is nothing too wide, too narrow. If you've got a normal foot, they should fit just fine. They will feel snug though because this mesh does not stretch. So if you're worried about that, just uh, get your normal size, loosen the laces up a little bit, you're good to go. One thing is there is a little bit of heel slip before this leather breaks in. So wear them a few times, get that counter broken in right here, get that wrinkle in that leather, and the heel so slip is gone. So Jordan Superfly 4 PO. I think it is a definite upgrade over the original Superfly 4 just because of the change in the materials. I'm a sucker for leather, I'm a 90s kid, and anytime they put leather on a performance shoe and it works, I'm really, really excited because it seems like it's a thing to come. You know, it, the patterns follow, companies follow, and if one has success using leather, then the rest will follow. Um, this version is priced at 180, which honestly I think is a little bit steep for the shoe that you get, especially when you can get, in my opinion, the better Jacquard upper for, I think it's like 120, $100, I'm not for sure, on finishline.com. Um, to me, the Jacquard upper way was the best of the Superfly 4s and almost on par with the Jordan 29. If you haven't checked those out, yes, they're a little bit gaudy, a little bit bright, check those out. Um, again, if you're looking for a shoe with, uh, with good fit, almost great traction, uh, good forefoot cushioning and good transition, look no further. Um, the, like I said, the different colorways of this shoe use a different leather around the heel and on the medial side. They don't use this patent and it's not patterned, so they use a regular leather with the same mesh, same traction, same cushioning. Um, Again, good job, Jordan Brand. Thank you so much. Jordan, good job on the redesign. Not Jordan Brand. Jordan, you know who you are. Um, up next, for me, I've got the Ultra Boost ST. I'm going to be reviewing this week. Get it done. And then i um, got a couple surprises coming for you. So stay tuned for that. Till then, wear testers. I'm out.